Hello everyone, this is me of course John Doe and I thought I'd take a few moments to reflect on the third year anniversary of the most very powerful earthquake that hit Japan tsunami and of course the start of our little nightmare the multiple nuclear reactor meltdowns of Fukushima Daiichi you know when all this started, I remember when it really became clear to everyone that it was serious. It was when we all saw those reactors explode. And that's when, you know, the media's coverage changed and everyone's attitude changed a little bit. Things got very, very somber for a while after that and people really didn't know what to say. And soon after that, you know, people were starting to look into it on their own because it became clear that TEPCO and the Japanese government were not really being forthcoming. And it started to come out time and time again how they were lying, not telling the truth, getting busted on these things, and having to go back and tell us more what's really happening there. And then as we know, soon after that, the protest started. And I got very large at one point. And you can look back in um, some of my past videos, and I have some footage where of some of the very large anti-nuclear demonstrations that happened right in front of the Prime Minister's office in Kasumi, Gaseki, Tokyo. I was right in the middle of all that and experienced that rage that was going on. But here we are, three years on. The protests have got smaller due to restriction of um, protesters other tactics, and just people being um, battle weary, 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 excuse me, in general. It's been a lot, it's been stressful at times, having all this continually to unfold, uh, seeing the inaction from the government, seeing, you know, TEPCO's corruption just go deeper and deeper and deeper down to the bottom of the barrel, and just when you think you found a bottom, Oh no, that dark pit goes pretty low of TEPCO. You can look at a lot of my past videos and see some of the things I've done vids on related to TEPCO and Fukushima there. But still, when I reflect on my personal experience, it was um, a consciousness change for me it kind of made me aware of so many things that were going on around me and it really got me more involved in social issues here in Japan and in general all the contradictions in Japan it kind of I hate to use the cliche woke me up but it did that in a sense with really what's going on in Japan I, I connected a lot deeper and more fully with people living here after that, after March 11th. So, for me, you know, it's been a positive and negative experience so far. Positive in the sense that it's got me closer to Japanese culture, Japanese society. And it got me past that blanket of everything's A-OK -okay and that kind of um, veneer that many foreigners have trouble getting past in Japan. On the negative side, it's caused me a lot of stress and a lot of worry. And all those things that go along with it, you know. But still now, it's still ongoing. And the government still is very aloof about what to do. Getting things done, helping people repair their lives. TEPCO is still playing political games. The government still wants to push for restarting nuclear reactors. They released... Um, energy policy plan recently and they said nuclear power is part of it. <coughs> Pardon me, a little sick. And uh, at the same time they're trying to get these reactors past safety standards that were passed by the new Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And these companies clearly can't. So instead of working harder to get up to those standards, they go on lobbying campaigns, and political um, campaigns, and media campaigns, to tell people it's fine now to go ahead and restart them. So that's ongoing. 
So that's just me reflecting a little bit here three years on from March 11th.